If you guys have known me for any amount of time, you probably know what Surge is, but not all of you guys know exactly how it started. At least, not yet. Meet Chaturanga. I used to play League of Legends with him back in the day. If you don't know what that is or why, we need to backtrack a little bit more. I used to play a lot of video games with a lot of people. Banoob was a name that came up during the times I used to play Ninja Saga. Yeah, it's a Facebook game that I used to play because I loved Naruto at the time. I started this channel because YouTube was the hottest shit back then. After a while, I found out that you can make money doing that. This is the first check I got from Maker Studios. It's for $10.11. I love it. So, back to Chaturanga. We built this platform together. The game is Cottage. It's an MCN. Basically, we partnered with Freedom MCN and helped people like you monetize on YouTube. Banoob is the owner and founder of The Gamer's Cottage, and you can check him out in the link down there. That's his official hub channel. At its peak, The Gamer's Cottage was doing about 60 million views a month. That's about two to $3,000. And if you're 18, that is a lot of money, a lot more than you care to know what to do with. One day, YouTube decided, hey, you know what? You guys aren't allowed to exist. We were basically a sub network under the Freedom MCN and YouTube basically changed their policies and overnight, we couldn't exist. We will be making major changes to the Freedom Network model in response to comply with this new policy. And all of you networks powered by Freedom will be getting an official communication from us all about the next steps soon. Now this was a shitty time for me because I got my exam results a few weeks later. Why do results matter so much? Well, that's my mom. She's the first female surgeon in the country. That's my dad. He's a doctor, professor with a master's in media and he came from a really rural family. He's pretty lit. And that's my brother. He's an asshole. So naturally, I was born and raised to be a doctor. Back to my results, they weren't how you'd say great. But a few people understood that I understood YouTube and they wanted to help. That's a couple years ago and that's me 50 kilos heavier, but that's another story for another day. By this time, I had run into another friend of mine. His name's Richard Veloc, and of course, I met him playing video games. We were trying a lot of things at the time that we wanted to launch that failed due to one thing or another. Look, some of these things were actually pretty good. Welcome to Social Viking, where we pillage and scour through the depths of the interwebs to find you the social games worth playing and those that belong in the trash. Today, we'll be taking a look at Star Era. <laughs> See, the closest thing we got was this site called Sira.lk. It was a local buzzfeed of sorts. Look, the irony of this whole situation is that we understood that we didn't know how to monetize this, but we also understood that we knew how to build audiences. Sira was eventually let go and we started Surge. Of course, it's not the Surge you see now, it's this one. We did Facebook for Sri Lankan businesses, I know. We went out pitching to get customers and we were selling this as a service for about $300 a month. This is Coco Veranda. They were one of our first clients. And this is Dave. The tools we've built together have become million dollar successes. So to Serge and Bonica, thank you guys so much. It's been an incredible year and I'm looking forward to making more software with you guys. Our first big break was with Hutchison the local telco underdog at the time. But this was our first foray into enterprise marketing. By this time, we've grown up a little, from the naive video gamers to semi-sophisticated marketing. We understood data, analytics, correlation, and causation with a little bit of common sense along the way. So we started pitching to customers and then shit hit the fan. This is the first surge office and the upstairs of my own home. It's pretty much a dump that can fit about four to five people. So what you see behind me is the old surge office. It was really a dump. There was nothing there. Piles of trash piling up again and again. It was basically a house, right? So we had to move out by the end of last year before we came to our new place. But why did the business crash? You see, delivering good marketing services and building a profitable marketing business are two distinctly different things. Meet Mangala. He's the CEO of Kalsi, a technology services company here in Sri Lanka that works with big businesses. He has a team of about 100 people that work with companies like PayPal, Stanford, and well, you get the drift. He also has a fun story. So I lost everything during the dot-com crash, and then I started this. But that's another story for another day. So I met this dude when we were doing videos for a client, and we kicked it off. He told me to drop out of school, and he ended up being a small investor at Search and personally a mentor for me. Excuse me, man. 
We paid our employees what they asked for. We assumed the work would get done. We assumed that the clients would pay and we assumed that we could deal with problems along the way. You see, that's a lot of assumptions. Forward to January 2017. Meet Hayley Evans. Hi, I'm Hayley. She heads up the Tavistock Group in Australia and Asia. If you don't know what that is, you should Google it. So Tavistock was looking at investing in a digital media company at the time and we had a shot. We went to LA, met with the team at Tavistock and their other portfolio companies, saw problems in a whole new light and basically I got a crash course in growing world-class companies. But then everything hit the ceiling when we were going through due diligence. We found out that everything we were doing was a complete disaster. Everything we were doing was completely wrong and it was the biggest train wreck of my life. Luckily, the team at Tavistock were willing to help. He's a pain in the ass, but we love him. I spent the next year fixing up the business, getting the right people, implementing processes and re-engineering everything from the ground up and we made everything about people. Right now, we get hundreds of people wanting to join Surge every month. It was a crash course in life and I wouldn't trade it in for any MBA. Everyone should create content. It doesn't really matter who you are or what you do. You can be a rocket scientist, you can be a gardener, or you can be a dropout like me. What's happening is that people tend to trust transparency and individuality over something else. It's no longer the degrees you hold, it's now the stories you tell. So today is the 31st of May and we just got funded, we're cleared. Meet Elevate. Elevate is a Tavistock company that has a spectrum of really, really cool shit. Maddie Hiop, doctor, engineer, scientist dude. He's the CEO of Atlas Labs, a technology and sensor company changing the IoT game. Meet Amila Jayathilaka, data scientist and a human supercomputer. He has a team of nerds here in Sri Lanka that use big data to understand how businesses can grow and he's got his eyes on changing the world. Ah, Prasanta. He's one of those cliche stories of a software company that started in his garage and now he has a global team doing multi-million dollar projects. And again, this is Haley, And her toughest gig is keeping us in line. And then there's me, yours truly. So if it's hardware, software, analytics or marketing, we've pretty much got you covered. Basically all the levers that control and push supply and demand. I'm glad we got so far. But you see, everyone looking at this video and everyone that I meet keeps on telling me that you've done well for yourself and congratulations. And I'm so proud. Thanks, Mark. But hey. We are safe! I'm just getting <laughs> Give him bird hustle.